Okay, the purpose of this video is to explain using the referencing features in Microsoft Word. The purpose of this video is to show you references in Microsoft Word so that you can use these techniques when preparing your final report. This is a sample document. This is my own submission for my own Masters in Education uh, module. Um, what I'm going to show you is how I have used these references uh, features in Microsoft Word. For instance, you can see here the table of contents. This table of contents is auto-generated. When I say auto-generated, what I mean is that when I click here, I can see the words update table. And when I click on that, I can choose whether to update page numbers only or update the entire table. And when I click on something like this, I can see that I can click on a link to jump. All right, so I can click on a link to jump. And that's, that's the benefit of a table of contents that you can actually click on a link um, and, and move quickly uh, between sections in the paper. So for instance, let me show you again. Let's just click and you jump to the main part of the paper. Now, let me bring you to a reference. This is a reference, in this case, Waterhouse 2006, page 210. This is APA 5th edition compliant, APA 5th edition. Now, if I click on this, I can actually edit the citation. I can edit the citation in order to insert the exact page number on which I found my content. And I can edit the source. Um, meaning that I can um, add in all the information, all the information for my reference, okay? Uh, and when I have um, inserted all my references, for instance, this is another reference, right? Geek page 80. When I edit the source, um, I can create all these fields. And then when I'm done with it, um, at the end, I can auto-generate a bibliography. So this is the bibliography. This is auto-generated. Again, I can update citations and bibliography. So I tap on this. It will automatically generate um, a bibliography for me. Now, this is an existing paper. So it's already here. Let's say it's a brand new paper. All right. So let me show you brand new paper. OK, this is a blank Microsoft Word. Let's go to File, New, and choose Blank Document. And here's Blank Document. All right. Now, let's say I have a, a heading, and I can call this um, Learning Experience. OK. Actually, I, I don't even need the words heading. I just say Learning Experience. OK. Then I can say, oh, how about Learning Experiences? like this and then experience one experience two experience three summary and conclusion and uh, oh i won't type in bibliography yet all right now this i can convert into a heading heading one and then experience one becomes heading two experience two is also heading two Experience 3 is also a heading 2. And summary, ah, summary will be a separate heading. So heading 1. And then conclusion might be a heading 2. Now, what is all this heading 1, heading 2? If I go to references, I type uh, table of contents. Hold on. I go to references. I go to references and under references, I type table of contents. I press table of contents. You can choose the format. Uh, I choose contents table 1. It will automatically generate a table of contents. Can you see that? Automatically. All right. And I can control click in order to follow the link to learning experiences. Okay. So the table of content has been generated. And so now we have table of contents. Now, let's say I type a citation, okay? So let's say I have a particular word, sentence, whatever. I put in quotation marks, 
k um, then I insert a citation so insert citation under references under references insert citation add a new source so let's let's pick a source any source all right so let's pick say a book okay and the author let's say is Clark Andy and the title is natural born intern okay and the year would be um, the year would be 2003 and the city would be Oxford and the publisher would be the Oxford University Press um, okay and we just uh, click OK all right it will immediately insert the citation here automatically all right let's say I found this uh, quote on a particular page so quote on a particular page edit the citation insert the page number okay and then oh another quotation so what do I do insert citation is from the same book from the same book so click on this it will automatically insert and then after that you edit the citation and the page number where I got the quote from is 143 and that's that okay so when all that is done I have I just move to the bottom at the end of the document and what I do is I insert bibliography so I just click and it will generate a bibliography and this is the bibliography correctly formatted in accordance with APA 5th edition okay um, so let's say I, I change this. Let's, let's say I move the text. All right. So I move to a new page. Let's say. Okay. So it's on a different page. So um, it, it doesn't actually change anything. The bibliography is still the same. Um, but uh, let's say I change this citation. Change citation to 23. That's okay. All right. That's okay. Uh, no change to the bibliography. All right. Now let's say I add another citation so let's just add another citation um, that would be um, insert citation hold on sorry add new source Myers David G title exploring internships the year would be the year would be mm, 2008. The city will be Hope, Michigan, and the publisher will be Worth Publishers. And let's go. These are the biblio fields for APA fifth edition. All right, so it's fifth edition compliant press ok okay so now I've added a new reference I can click on biblio update citations and voila it comes out in fifth edition all right so in other words you can create your bibliography at the end or you can create it any time that you are producing your document every time you amend your draft and add a new source you just press on update biblio it updates biblio okay um, and that is APA 5th edition. Now, Microsoft Office, the latest edition of Microsoft Office only does APA 5th edition. So it doesn't do APA 6th edition. 6th edition is the latest. Um, I will take 5th edition, no problem. Uh, most people will accept 5th edition. Um, when the newest version of Microsoft Office comes out, it will support 6th edition. And uh, that's all.